students, let us continue with chapter 8 quadrilaterals. We will take a look at the solve example on page 145. So what have we, be, we been given? That ABCD is my quadra, a parallelogram in which P is the midpoint of AB. Now since P is the midpoint of AB, I will have AP equal to PB. And also Q is the midpoint of CD. So D, QD is going to be equal to QC. Now we need to prove that three, para, uh, three of the quadrilaterals are parallelograms. So let's see which are the three quadrilaterals. First I need to prove that APCQ. APCQ is a parallelogram. Then I need to prove that DPBQ. So DPBQ is a parallelogram. As well as I need to prove that PSQR is a parallelogram. So here PSQ, PSQR is a parallelogram. Let us see how we will prove the first one as a parallelogram and so on and so forth. So first of, first of all, I need to prove that DPBQ is a parallelogram. Let's draw DPBQ. So I have APCQ, sorry. So I have APCQ. Because this is the first one that I need to prove as a parallelogram. Now it is given that DC is parallel to AB. This is given. Therefore, now Q and P lie on DC and AB respectively. Therefore, obviously QC is going to be parallel to AP. Also, Q is the midpoint. Uh, also, DC is equal to AB. Why? Because ABCD is a parallelogram. Therefore, which means that the opposite sides are equal. Therefore, half of DC is going to be equal to half of AB. But half of DC is what? QC. And half of AB is what? PB. Therefore, what can I say? That QC is also equal to AP. Therefore, now using theorem 8.8, .8, which we learned in the previous class, which states that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Therefore, quadrilateral APCQ is a parallelogram. Let us go ahead and write this or prove this rather. I'll say QC is parallel to PB, uh, AP. Since AB is parallel to or since DC is parallel to AB. Also, let's mark this as 1. Also, DC is equal to AB. I'll say why? Opposite sides of parallelogram. Therefore, half of DC is equal to half of AB. Right? Half of DC is what? QC is equal to, sorry, we need to prove, a QC is equal to AP. Why? P is the midpoint, uh, Q is the midpoint. DC and P is the midpoint of AB and I'll mark this as 2. So what can I say from 1 and 2 that quadrilateral APCQ is a parallelogram. I'll say from 1 and 2. Similarly, now if you take the other quadrilateral, DPBQ. So I have DPBQ. I have DP parallel to QB. Why? Because Q and P, sorry, DQ and PB. I have DQ parallel to PB. Why? Because Q lies on DC and P lies on PB as well as these two are equal. Why? Because Q is the midpoint of DC and P is the midpoint of AB. Right? That means half and DC is equal to AB. So half of DC is equal to half of AB which is DQ is equal to PB. So I can prove these two equal also. 
So what can we say? That quadrilateral DQPB is also a parallelogram because a pair of opposite sides are parallel and equal. So you have to prove it just in the similar manner. So this was my first part. I'll say second part. Similarly, as in one, we can prove that we can prove that quadrilateral DPBQ is a parallelogram. Right? Now let's proceed to the third section. We need to prove that our quadrilateral PSQR is a parallelogram. So let us draw our quadrilateral PSQR. So I have P, S, Q and R. Now let's extend these points. Oh wait, let's extend these lines. What did we learn? This is C, this is P, and then we have B and D and A. We just proved that DQ, PB is a parallelogram. That means DP is parallel to QB, correct? Therefore, SP is parallel to QR. Why? Because S and R lie on DP and QB, correct? Therefore, these two are parallel. Similarly, what do I get? We just proved that AP, CQ is a parallelogram. Therefore, AQ is parallel to PC, right? Therefore, what do I have? That SQ is parallel to PR. Why? Because S and R lie on AQ and PC. Therefore, since we prove that these two are parallel and these two are parallel, I can say that quadrilateral PSQR is a parallelogram. So let's write this down. We have DP parallel to QB. Since quadrilateral DPBQ is a parallelogram. Therefore, what can I say that SP is parallel to QR. Let's mark this as 3. And I have AQ parallel to PC. Since Quadrilateral APCQ. APCQ is a parallelogram. Therefore, what can I say? That AQ over here, we need SP. So SQ, sorry, SQ is parallel to PR. AQ is parallel. I'll mark this as 4. So from 3 and 4, I can say that quadrilateral SPQ, uh, PSQR is a parallelogram. Therefore, quadrilateral PSQR is a parallelogram. I'll say from 3 and 4. So this was about the solved example. Before we start, exercise 8.1. Let's take a look at the exercise 8.1 in the next videos. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win e Shala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.